Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I am reviewing here BABA. This stock had earnings, and they were this morning. And I really wish I would have done a video actually yesterday afternoon. I talked about it in the live trading room, and I got so busy I didn't have time to put a video out. But I predicted that the stock would actually get up, up, up on the earnings. I, I thought about doing an option in it yesterday afternoon, and I didn't, I didn't do it. I was thinking about doing the 89 calls, and uh, they would have been a week out in the expiration, and they were like 70 cents, which really is like nothing, because today then they were worth more than $5 into the open. It's just another crazy call that I, that I, <laughs> I didn't do, but certainly hit the nail on the head as far as the movement or prediction of the price. And so I waited till today, and the stock did gap up this morning in the earnings, and now I'm in an option. So you can, really the way to do this is to wait for the stock to gap. But every once in a while, I, I do make predictions of the direction of bias that the stock will actually move in the earnings. And, uh, and it's really interesting how, how right I am very often on that, but I don't always do the option prior to that. So the best thing to do is to wait until after it's gaps, and then you rate the gap. So this gap this morning, this was the best bullish gap today. And you could have gone intraday long this for a quick scalp up. It never got over 93, but this was a tremendous move for the stock today. And I predicted that it would hold in the gap up and that is what it did. So you see the low today was 91.26, high up here was 92.80, pre-market high this morning was 93. Prior day, this was, well, this was yesterday, yeah, before the earnings, which was this morning, it closed at 87.33. So it was at 93 at one point this morning. So just a tremendous move for the stock. And here you see, so it gapped up and then it came in a teeny weeny little bit after move up this morning quickly, then it fell and held right here. I mean, this is really a nice chart. So now I'm in an option in this. The strike price is 95. So it's, it's very close to the to the number here and so I really paid up for it and I actually have it out for a month so a lot of time in this and very close to the strike price so this could turn out to be a really good trade. The The first target is 95 though. So the first target is here 95 and I like this so much today that I just really didn't even care where I got in it. As long as you get in this today, you know, this is a good move. It's just a good, good, solid move. Anywhere you got filled in this price today in this option is a good buy because the stock price is really higher. I mean, it is really higher, so you, you gotta get in it. And sometimes you just say, you know what, I'm paying the price to be in it, and that's the end of it. <laughs> so uh, my cost is like $1.39 here. But this is a, doing it for the move to get it into the number and past the number and beyond. So the first target is 95. 98 is the next target. A very solid about that and the real target for this is 100 I mean this is a real real hundred a hundred dollars price point is a real target for this so that would be five dollars over the strike price that I bought it today and of course there's many other targets so this is a nice beautiful bullish gap very very aggressive for me to go along an option and something that gapped up six dollars overnight very aggressive to call this along the day, which I did in the trading room, even though I didn't intraday go long it. And very aggressive for me to even predict that it would gap up before it did, or even that it would hold the low today, which it will. So this probably opens neutral or possibly up a little bit tomorrow morning. And my prediction is that it rallies tomorrow and goes over 93 and runs actually tomorrow up into 95. So we'll just have to see. Let's quick look here at the after hours of the market. Market looks strong. Market's continuing higher and higher and higher. And this chart, what this chart did today and what I absolutely loved about the gap and talked about in the room and talked and talked and talked about today is that this is a corrective gap in this chart. So prior to this day, this chart was not in an uptrend. As of today, as of the gap this morning, this chart was in an immediate definitive uptrend starting today. So it is a new buy. You could go long the stock today as a swing trade, as an option trade. In the longer term, the stock is an immediate buy today based on the gap up today. And this is one of the one of the really important things about learning gaps for me because many traders would see something like this and think it's a fade. 
a fade as a swing trade or an intraday trade or that it'll fill the gap, it will, it will not fill this gap at all. This gap will not be filled at all this calendar year. And I don't know if it'll ever be filled again, but I don't want to say that, you know, forever is a long time. But, you know, ch stocks can change directional biases all the time. But as far as this year goes, 2016, the stock is not going to break through the low of today's bar. And remember, these are areas, but I'm, you know, this is pretty much it right here. This is the new support here for this. It's not going to be broken this calendar year. So we're higher from here on up. And after it gets over 93, again, that was the pre-market high, it should, it just has nowhere to go but up. <laughs> but, you know, here's the next number. And over 95, the stock should just fly. I mean, this, this stock should just fly. And actually, this is a big buy point here, which is the $100 number, so, but that's really my target. This is, a, this is a massive buy point here. So the big, big buy points are 93, 95, and 100. So you gotta hold it over 93. Whether you hold it over 95 or not, you're not gonna be up more than a dollar in this at 95 if you bought it today with me. And then the $100 number is a big number too. <laughs> it's another buy point. So just huge uh, institutional buying today in this stock. And we watched a trade in the morning. Let's go back to the one minute chart. So here's what this did today and the one minute chart. I mean, we watched it, we saw it, we saw it in the room. This, this was real. This, this is, this is like a one minute bar. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the volume in that. And then this held right in here. The stock actually set the low of the day at 9.53. Let me just double check that. So the stock actually set the low of the day before 10 o'clock today in this chart. Tremendous, tremendous institutional buying in this today. And this is really higher. So I'm in this at an option. We'll follow it and see where it goes. If you would like to do the Golden Gap class this weekend, you will learn how to rate gaps based on my 26-point rating system that will help you decide whether something is a short or a long, which today this was a long, not a short. And also you will be able to use my system for day trades or swing trades. And I'm offering the gap options letter free from now until the end of the year uh, if you sign up for the gap class by tomorrow for this weekend. So have a great night, everyone. Email me at melissa.thestockswish.com if you would like more information about my golden gap system. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.